Master, I cannot grant you this wish. Only the Ladybug and Cat Noir Miraculous possess this power. Miraculous Ladybug hasn't been kind to Nuru or his Miraculous, exploiting their powers for five seasons, soon to be six, in the name of evil. Granted, Gabriel becomes more influenced by his grief and a desire to restore his family as time persists. But the why does not justify the means. In nearly every episode, the Butterfly Miraculous and its power continues to be abused by people who don't deserve it. In today's video, we're considering why Ladybug should save the Butterfly Miraculous in Season 6. Nuru, dark wings rise! Number 1. Nuru Deserves a Break One of the best reasons for Nuru to get saved is because he doesn't deserve to be in his current position. His Miraculous was lost from the Chinese Miracle Box after Feast destroyed the Temple of Guardians. It's unclear what happened to the Butterfly Miraculous after that time, but a century later he ends up in the hands of Gabriel Agreste. Gabriel is not kind to his Kwame, unlike other Miraculous wielders, who treat their Kwamis as partners to depend on in times of trouble. In contrast, Gabriel treats Nuru as a servant who lacks free will, disregarding his Kwamis' wants and needs daily. In the episode Sandboy, he refuses to allow Nuru to communicate with the other Kwamis, and uses their ritual to try and find the Miracle Box. His actions further isolate Nuru and separate him from his family. Nuru isn't allowed fundamental rights, including speech, when he's with Gabriel. At the end of Season 5, Gabriel renounces Nuru for the last time and tosses the Butterfly Miraculous away, seemingly so Marinette can't retrieve its power. When she's unsuccessful in recovering the Butterfly Miraculous, it is later in the possession of Lila at the end of Recreation. Lila has proven more manipulative and malicious than Gabriel in the past few seasons, so it's hard to believe she'll treat Nuru kindly. The Kwame has had his fair share of bad wielders and deserves a break. He hasn't had time to properly explore the modern world, to have fun or to bond with the wielder due to genuine friendship and not obligation. Once rescued, Ladybug would do well to pair him with someone who has a gentle and compassionate heart. Nuru will need their patience and kindness while he recovers from his past experiences. <laughs> it was a joke, Nuru. I'm not that cruel. Thank you, Master. Number 2. The Butterfly Miraculous Isn't Evil The Butterfly Miraculous has only existed in the series to advance Gabriel's goals. Its ability to akumatize other living creatures becomes very dangerous, when in the wrong hands, and that's why Paris appears to be overrun by new villains daily. The Miraculous's constant use for nefarious purposes makes it hard to remember that the Miraculous isn't evil. There is nothing sinister about Nuru or his representation of transmission. The Order of Guardians knows that the Miraculouses are only as bad as those who wield them. In Furious Fu, when Gabriel sends an Akuma to take advantage of Suhan's rage, he repels the creature by chanting a mantra known by himself and seemingly the other Guardians. The chant is taught to them in case a Miraculous wielder goes rogue and not because they believed the Butterfly Miraculous to be inherently evil. Interestingly enough, the Miraculous Ladybug franchise is broaching the subject even more, as a new special titled Miraculous World Paris will come out later this year. The special follows a parallel universe where the Ladybug and Cat Miraculous wielders are evil. To stop these alternate versions of themselves, Ladybug and Cat Noir must team up with someone unexpected, the good wielder of the Butterfly Miraculous. It's difficult to envision the Miraculous getting used by the heroes because the series has used it side by side with the villains for years. However, Nuru has never helped Gabriel willingly, and does his best to offer his wielders advice that could put them on the right path. Nuru knows that everything his power has done recently is wrong, but given the chance, he would try to fix the damage he caused. Stop now or there will be no turning back. You will lose everything. I have nothing to lose. Number 3. No one should have their emotions manipulated. The most considerable moral dilemma with the Butterfly Miraculous is that no one should have their emotions manipulated. When Gabriel uses the Miraculous, he uses it to listen to numerous people's emotions, specifically the negative ones, to determine who would be the best person to exploit. He never appears to harness someone's positive emotions, leaving him with angry or vengeful henchmen to do his bidding. There is a range that comes with these akumatized villains. In some instances, like Miracle Queen and Catalyst, the villains are willing accomplices to Gabriel, inclined to help them to further their goals. Characters like Sabine and Chi Lin need convincing before they can be akumatized. However, most akumatization victims are transformed without a fight and turn evil during a moment of weakness. It's likely that exploiting someone when their emotions are positive and their perception clear would make forcing an akumatization more difficult. Someone who wasn't upset would need to willingly succumb to the change, accepting their powers and the telepathic link the wielder of the Butterfly Miraculous would have with them. The consent that comes alongside that would likely make ordering an akumatized person more straightforward, as a level of trust and respect would coincide. You're judging me without knowing me when I'm actually just like you, a victim of misunderstanding. Number 4. It Gives Room for New Villains 
One pitfall that Miraculous Ladybug falls into is routine. There's a specific blueprint the series follows that makes it predictable. One unchanging force in the series is the Butterfly Miraculous and its allegiance to the villains. Five seasons, a movie, and two specials occur where Gabriel wields the Butterfly Miraculous, creating akumatized villains to try to defeat Ladybug and Cat Noir. The series does take a turn in recreation by allowing Gabriel to win. He outsmarts Marinette and unifies the Ladybug and Cat Miraculouses to make his wish. However, he appears to make a different wish than planned and leaves the series as a semi redeemed figure in the narrative. With his departure, it would have been the perfect time for Marinette to recover the Butterfly Miraculous, but instead, it ends up with Lila. Lila has maintained an antagonistic role in the series since the first season, and while she makes the obvious choice as the new Butterfly Wielder, it does leave the series in the same pattern. Ladybug and Cat Noir will continue fighting daily akumatized villains. These can be engaging stories, but had the Butterfly Miraculous returned to Marinette, the series could have made room for a new concept for the main villain. Nuru, bring me back the brooch! <laughs> I'm still the Guardian, and the Guardian just took the Miraculous of the Butterfly back from you! Number 5. The Chinese Miracle Box Will Be Complete The Butterfly Miraculous got lost over a century ago, and since then, Nuru has remained separated from his fellow Kwamis, the Guardians, and his home. There's no doubt that he's traumatized and will need time to heal once he gets rescued, and the time of peace can occur within the Chinese Miracle Box. The Miracle Box houses all the Miraculouses when they're not in use, and for the first time in a hundred years, it would be complete. The complete Miracle Box is critical for many reasons. Firstly, it will finish Master Fu's journey. Although he gave up guardianship in Miracle Queen, he gave up his life to protect the remaining Miraculouses and to find the ones he lost. He didn't get the opportunity to save Nuru, but Ladybug could fulfill that wish for him. As the current guardian, it only makes sense that she will be the one to bring Nuru home. The complete Miracle Box also plays into Marinette's story, as she will need to pass on the role of guardian one day. The French superhero team will also retire for many indiscernible reasons. The Kwamis and their Miraculouses will outlast their current wielders, so before the Miracle Box gets passed on to the next generation, it would be best if Nuru was saved and restored to his true purpose. Much like in Miraculous World Paris, the Butterfly Miraculous could be what the world needs to help defeat the next big threat. Ladybug and Cat Noir are heroes for now, their powers of creation and destruction assisting in the fight against Gabriel, Lila, and their allies. In the future, the Butterfly Miraculous and its power transmission could find a wielder that becomes a hero just as infamous as those in Paris. They must never get into the wrong hands. Like Hawk Moss. Yes. Once the mission is over, you must retrieve the Miraculous from them and bring it back to me. Nuru is long overdue for a rescue, and his fellow Kwamis will be glad to have him returned after a century away. Unfortunately, with Lila as his new holder, going into Season 6 and the episode Time Tagger revealing that there will be a Hawk Moth years into the future, it doesn't seem like he'll return to the Miracle Box anytime soon. However, Ladybug has many reasons to rescue him, and as her career as a hero appears to be long, she has plenty of time to bring Nuru home. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications to stay updated on our uploads. I lost the Grimoire, and both the Butterfly and the Peacock Miraculous. I thought the Senti Monster had disappeared forever.